Welcome to Sew Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigmund, and you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter, and make the dance sport, country, and skate dress of your dreams. I'm filming on location with Jacqueline at the Ice Den Chandler in Arizona. I love this dress. We are built pretty similarly in that we both have broad shoulders and we're both short. And one of the things that Tammy Jimenez did, her now is Tammy your coach? Yes. As well as, okay, as the dressmaker. <laughs> Let me finish my train of thought, right? <laughs> you all can read my mind by now, surely. <laughs> So one of the things that she did that I like a lot on this dress is several things. I love this heavy cluster up at the top and then the way it fades down. And a lot of people would be tempted to use regular crystal ABs and then it would be black on white. I'm not a huge fan of black on white, except in polka dotted shirts. <laughs> But as far as costumes go, this I really love because it looks like there are hematite and then... It's a silver shade. And a silver shade. And this is really subtle. It's not super in your face like this black and white contrast would be. This is... What's, what's your music on this? Uh, it's Feeling Good by Nina Simone. Mm. Uh, perfect. <laughs> Perfect, so like really husky voice, um, really kind of sensual, throaty sounding, and while her, yeah, awesome, <laughs> awesome, cool. So glad I asked, okay. So the stoning on that really does fit the music perfectly. I love the fact that this dress has bra cups in. I think a lot of skate dresses lose out by not accentuating our womanly body parts or by offering more support because you don't want things move you don't want the girls moving around when you're out on the ice so i love that this dress has that because we're both small chested we need this um this particular because she's oh sorry there you go. <laughs> let me beat my model <laughs> <laughs> because she's broad shouldered, one of the things that this neckline does is that it draws the viewer's eye up towards her face and thereby creating a pretty long line going down, especially since there's heavy stoning right here. So I like that particular aspect. The skirt is sort of classic, short, barely covering the trunks, maybe a half a circle in the front. We'll go ahead and have you turn backwards please ma'am. The back has significantly more volume. I'm going to guess there's about probably a full circle back here. Love, love, love the fact that there is no mesh behind these straps. I can stick my fingers. <laughs> Sorry, they're cold. No, you're right. <laughs> but, but so often, one, one of the things that I find so distracting on old school skate dresses is that this would be covered in mesh and then the crisscross straps would be stitched to the mesh. You don't need to. One, because if you sign up for my sewing school, I will teach you how to make a proper dress so that you don't need mesh to structurally hold it together. And two, these little crisscrosses are just really fabulous visually. So structurally, it's sound. It keeps Jacqueline in the dress. And visually, they're interesting because it also, again, goes narrow, wide, narrow, wide. Love this aspect here. Is there anything that you particularly like or dislike about this dress? And we won't tell Tammy if it's something that you dislike. <laughs> no, I love the dress overall. I helped her, like, create it. Okay. And how many times have you worn it so far? Probably about four times. Oh, so that's a while. And you have another competition coming up this weekend? Yes. Yes, and you're wearing this one at that event? Yeah, for my light. We're yeah. kind of double dipping it. So it's originally for my short program, but we really liked it so much that we used it for a show this year, and then we're using it for my light program at Showcase. Yeah, well, mine as well. It's a great <laughs> dress. Oh, I have a question. Do you have bracelets with this? No. Okay. So one of the things, since you were talking about having um, double dipping and using it for different styles, one of the things that you can very economically and easily do for those of you who want to get the most bang for your buck but yet change it out, you could do bracelets with this. They could either be tight bracelets about the same width of this. You could do two or three bracelets. You could add gloves. You could add little gauntlets that maybe only go from here to here. And that way, 
you know, for those of you who can only afford one dress or only have time to make one dress, that would give you a whole bunch of options to sort of change out this. Um, overall, I think this is a great dress. I love it. This would also make a beautiful evening gown. Just stick a long skirt on it and we'd be good to go. All right, I am going to let Jacqueline go. Thank you so much for modeling for me today. This is great, loved it. And um, thanks to the folks at Ice Den Chandler in Arizona, and thanks to you for being here. So if you have enjoyed today's video, please share it with all of your dancing, skating, sewing friends. Go to sewlikeapro.com, leave me your name and email address. I'll sign you up for the newsletter and make sure you always know when my sewing school is open for enrollment. Leave a comment if you would. Tell me what part of Jacqueline's dress do you like the most? What is your favorite element and why would you want to use it on your dress? Lastly, if you are watching this on a video channel, subscribe and share it with all of your friends on the video channel and any other social media that you happen to frequent. I think that's it. <laughs> we are going to sign off. I'll talk to you again another time. Okay, cool. Thank you. Don't go anywhere. Let me take yeah. pictures though.